hey guys welcome to automotive technica in this video i have brought a new uh, high quality bulb from autobahn that is p9 that is the next version of uh, uh, the led bulbs and here the luminous flux intensity is 16000 lumen and uh, it's like uh, 8000 lumen per bulb and its input watt uh, for uh, a single bulb is uh, 43 watts and uh, it has got uh, totally four uh, LED chips so the IP rating is IP68 and it's waterproof so the thing is like what you see here the operating temperature is from minus 42 plus 90 degrees centigrade and it has got a fan from behind to cool down with uh, the heat sink the light source is again here is a catch so this is automotive uh, 45970 uh, LED chips which are uh, customized for the heat dissipation and uh, what I seen here is it is having a high grade aluminium uh, material used and and this I used in a premium segment uh, cars and bikes so if I see that this is a H4 uh, socket model and uh, so the color temperature is 6500 Kelvin and this is towards the whiter side and the total power of the both the bulbs is like 86 watts combined so it can give uh, this is what the spec is 16,000 lumen uh, let's unbox and see what's present so this looks to be a small box with installation uh, some paperwork and uh, it's the same as s2 installation but it has got some clicks here so that we can adjust the beam of the bulb and here is the installation manual and that's the paperwork is put it aside and here are the bulbs nicely packed but no gloves here uh, yeah that's fine no problem but the thing is uh, it looks to be pretty good and let's examine one of the bulbs so it has got two chips on one side and two on the back so the thing is earlier we had the three uh, cob chips uh, two at an angle like uh, 45 45 for the low beam and only one chip bigger one at uh, the bottom for high beam so high beam was not that great in s2 but here uh, we will test thoroughly the removal of this uh, cap is in twisted like this so this comes here so you have to uh, fix this into the dome with the clip into the suzuki swift or whichever the car you have in the dome which is uh, holding h4 socket put the rubber dust cap onto this and then slightly guide into the passage so here uh, once it goes uh, it will be a shift of uh, more than 45 degrees so you can adjust the beam accordingly if you see here this is h4 socket which goes into the car uh, socket which is connected to the bulb there and uh, you can just tie it or leave it like that there's not much weight here this is made up of uh, very good aluminium looks like an aircraft uh, related high grade aluminium and there is a fan you see there is a double ball uh, fan and it rotates at 12,000 rpm well uh, that's the construction of the bulb and we have two here the packing is really good well guys Autobahn is a company where uh, uh, it imports uh, such kind of LED bulbs uh, starting with the range of 2752 uh, almost uh, 6000 in the higher range and they are really really good the product quality is really good that is why I purchased for the second time and this time I'm going to fit it in the Suzuki Swift if, the, if I'm not happy I'm going to put it back into my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 because this is the same socket and it will be too bright and I will be not using any of the auxiliary lights uh, on the bike so if that is proves to be too good on the car so this will be uh, the first attempt so that uh, the motive is to have a permanent installation on both the headlights and stay tuned for the next update 
So guys, there is a catch here between the difference between the S2 and the P9 is it has got four chips here, one, two, and three and four. So now, if you see the two uh, 45 degrees angle chips in the S2 cob uh, light were uh, for the low beam and the bottom there was one more uh, that was for the high beam. But in this case, the bulb position should be this way inside the dome that this should be a top this should be bottom and you can adjust the beam accordingly uh, based on the small clicks here see here so you can adjust this pattern so there is a small uh, metal clip that means the front two leds will be uh, sidewards they glow for the low beam and here the bottom the back side what we have is the total uh, long beam throw. So this is what the construction is and it's totally different than uh, the S2 version. So I believe this should be good and let's see by placing it, installing it into the car and stay tuned. So the cost of the bulb is approximately 3700 and it varies uh, uh, based on uh, the website to website what they sell it on Amazon is same and uh, on their autobahn technologies website you will get a discount sometimes based on the coupon so this looks to be made in china and they are importers of uh, these bulbs the spin and uh, led headlight is an automotive grade and uh, if you for more information on uh, this bulb you go to autobahn technologies.com uh, you have all kind of uh, various uh, uh, bulbs and the type of the socket they have listed there and uh, stay tuned guys, we'll be fitting this in Suzuki Swift and show you the light beam. So hey guys, I replaced one bulb on the co-driver side. Uh, so I had to do some work around because this lug is a bit wider than this one. So this needs to be equal. So I need to chop off this both the sides a little bit to equalize this. Uh, so using a knife, that's pretty easy and let's see how is the low beam is so this is philips extreme vision and this is p9 autobahn so night time i'm going to start uh, and let's see the high beam as usual extreme vision philips this is the autobahn. Well, guys, I changed uh, both the bulbs to LED, and this is the looks of the car after changing it from halogen to LED. So these are quite powerful, and the beam is like this. This is the This is the high beam, low beam in the daytime. So I'll be testing it in the night. So this is night testing of a stationary vehicle with uh, P9 Autobahn LED headlamp. So this is the low beam. This is the high beam. Low beam. High beam. So guys, I'll show you on how it performs on the road. So guys, this is the low beam, this is without this, low beam and high beam. So this is LED P9 from Autobahn, I am testing it on the road, on the highway. I see the trucks are coming and I am going to hit that deeper. This is the high beam, it's pretty pretty good on Suzuki Swift ZXI model.
we're coming on high beam so guys uh, i'm using autobahn p9 so this is a remote area where i'm lighting with uh, led bulbs only led low beam this is high beam roads are pretty visible even the watery surfaces are pretty easily seen and on the highways uh, this does a good justice when the trucks are coming with high beam so that's all guys if you like my videos uh, please subscribe and push the thumbs up button and stay blessed